Shalom. This is uh, Brother Montezal from GMS Indiana Camp. Um, we're going to get in the lesson today of uh, the flesh and the fruits of the spirit. But before before I go into the lesson, um, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And uh, salutations to all you Akim out there that's true and sincere. Shalom. All right, um, we're going to um, go into this lesson. You know, um, in the book of Galatians, talking about the uh, the two the difference between the flesh and uh, and the spirit. Um, it starts right here in uh, Galatians chapter five, verse seven. Uh, yeah, I can start at seventeen. Kind. Um, he says, "For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary. These are contrary, the one to the other." So that ye cannot do the things that are that ye would. So the flesh and the uh, and the spirit are contrary to each other, meaning that they're not going in the same direction. They're not the same way. They're going in the opposite direction. The flesh want to do what they want to do, but the spirit want to do the things of the Lord. He says, "But if ye be led of the spirit," so he's going to go into. He says, "But if ye." Be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. See, if you be led by the spirit, then you ye are not under the law. That's not saying that we not supposed to follow the laws uh, to the best of our ability. That's not what that's saying. That's basically saying that, like, um, like uh, uh, if we be in the spirit, like you know, there's certain things that we can't, you know, uh, do. You know, what I'm saying as far as like the laws, you know. So we do do them to the best of our ability. He says, but if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Like, like for instance, like, um, like the Shabbat, the Sabbath, you know, which is tonight. Uh, you know, I, I had to work today, you know. Uh, some brothers have to work tomorrow, you know. That's something hard, you know what I'm saying, to keep. You know, um, you can't keep that law, unfortunately, because we are we in captivity. You know, so, you know, we be led in the spirit, you know, so, you know, like, like, even though you might work, you know, you might come home and might not kindle a fire, you know, you might, you know, just to the best of your ability. And then it goes on, it says, uh, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these now it's going into the things of the flesh, you know, and, and the works of the flesh are manifest. You know, uh, 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 Yahweh forbid, you know, you being a man of the Lord and not knowing the difference. You know, he says that, and that's another reason why he said too, um, if you be, it's uh, like yeah. He said, he said, uh, if you be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. You know, but if you be on, if you be led by the Spirit too, you you you're gonna be, you gonna have some good sense, man. You're going to know the difference between the things of the flesh, you know, like these. He said, uh, now the works of the flesh are, are manifested, which are these, adultery. You know, brothers know what adultery is. You know, you're not supposed to uh, sleep with another man's wife. You're not supposed to um, look on another man's wife. You know, this is simple as that. Fornication, you know, um, that's worshiping other uh, gods, falling into false other uh, false doctrines and different beliefs, uncleannesses, um, lasciviousness, idolatry, worshiping on um, going back to uh, worshiping uh, um, false gods, man, idolatry, you know, different uh, vain um, philosophies and different vain doctrines like. Um, you know, like these um, doctrines that they got out here, Jesus Christ, uh, 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 Allah, Buddha, you know, etc. And he says witchcraft. You know, witchcraft fall up on a number, a numerous amount of different things. You know, lying can be witchcraft. You know, being de uh, uh, deceitful. You know, all of that falls up under that. Uh, hatred. You know, be, be hating a brother, man. Having this hatred against this brother. That's wicked, man. You're not supposed to be hating hating another brother, man. 
or having that in you. That, that that's just that's the things of your flesh that's flaring up in you. You still got some things that you need to uh, uh, work on. Like you may have to fast to get that off of you. Those those are demons. He said, and it, and it says variants, uh, emulations, wrath. That's that wrath, like anger, like seriously, you're just mad, man. You know, like 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 uh, uh not righteous uh, uh anger, but you know, just you want to lay hands, you know, you want to hurt somebody. Strife, having strife, you know, constantly trying to, you know, contend, you know, saying what's your anger? Seditions, heresies, you know, heresies also, you know, envyings, you know, envying, you know, like your brother, murders, drunkenness, it's like you're drunken, drunkenness. Revilings and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have told also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. So if you if you're doing any of those things what we just read, if you if you in those um if you fall up under any of that you need to repent and ask the Lord to um to help you with that. You know, like fast, pray, do whatever it takes, man, to get that off of you. He said, he says, but the fruit of the spirit is and these are the he goes he's going into the um the fruits of the spirit. He says, uh love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. And that love going back into where it says love. That's not talking about some old lovey dovey old, you know, faggot shit or nothing like that. You know, that's talking about basically uh, doing the will of the Heavenly Father, you know, doing his commandments. Because the the the, uh, the number one one, uh, let me find that out, find where that is real quick here. Uh, one second. Salakia. This is the number one commandment, and it, and it reads, uh, this is Deuteronomy 6 and 5. He says, and thou shalt love thy Lord, thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. You know, and basically, you know, we, we all know what it means to love the most high. You know, and I, I'll pull that up too, real quick here. This is, um, and, uh... St. John chapter this is St. John chapter uh, 14 verse 15 he says if ye love me keep my commandments so basically if you love the most high keep his commandments and there's one of the second best commandment is to do what The second best commandment is to love thy neighbor as you will love your, as you will love yourself. So basically, if you um doing those two, you're gonna love you you gonna you gonna keep the commandments of the Most High, man. He said love, then that's that's the fruits of the spirit, joy, peace, long suffering. Long suffering is having patience, man. While you sitting here waiting for your howl by Shem was shot, man. You know, that's that's uh that's that's part of this uh that's part of the process. That's one of the fruits you have to have is long suffering. You gotta be be able to uh, uh uh endure. 
and do this 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 um this this trying period, man, all the way up until um until the mark of the beast, all the way up until um you know getting your head cut off in the guillotine. It comes up to that point. That's part of the long suffering process, man. And that's the part you gotta get prayed up in, you know, right now. Pray and fast to ask you how about Shimia Osha to give you the um the courage, you know, um give you uh the courage and uh the strength, man, to be with uh, be able to um you know to uh, uh to lose your life, man, for the sake of the Lord, man. Joy. We got joy being in this thing, man. Peace and long suffering. And gentleness, you know, you ain't gotta be all, you know, rough, you know. It's it's you know, goodness and faith, meekness and temperance. That's the part I wanted to get to. You know, it's just basically a um, balance, you know, to this thing, you know. You gotta have a balance in everything as far as like being a man of the Lord. It says again such uh slakia temperance against such there is there is no law there's no law against these what i just read it says and they that are hamashiachs have crucified the flesh so those who are belong to the lord they they have crucified their flesh man meaning like they have put those uh the things that uh, your flesh used to uh Lust after, like, you might have used to uh, um, lust after smoking cigarettes. You might have lusted after um, smoking blunts. Or lusted after other men's women, man. It, you know, lust comes with a different variety, whatever you lust after, man. It's a different variety. Uh, uh, tongue twister, slacky. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of different things uh, that you can lust after. Whatever whatever your vice was when you was in the world, man, you know. But you know, if you belong to the Lord and you came into this thing, man, you you put off those things, man. You know, you don't lust after those things no more. You don't care for them. The Lord took that that uh, that uh, that lustful taste out of your mouth. Those those, those things that you use to uh, lust after. And he said, uh, he says, and they that are Hamashiachs have crucified the flesh. With affliction, with afflictions and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So we live in the spirit. Let us also walk in the spirit, man. So those are the things you want to keep on you. The, the fruits of the spirit, man. You know, so, you know, you got to constantly have these things on your mind, man. Constantly have the, uh, the, the word on you. The word on your mind constantly. I mean, because it's like it's like if you if you don't have it on your mind, it's like instantly, man. The, you know, Satan come up in your mind, man, and how you thinking of all types of crazy shit, man. You gotta really pray, man, and ask the Lord to get those things out of your mind, man, and and, and get into the scriptures to the best of your ability. He says, uh, he says, if uh, it's like he said, let us not be the serious. Uh, it's like yeah, not the serious. Uh, um, desiring, the desirous. Uh, it's like it. of vainglory, provoking one another. That's basically desiring, like having a desiring um spirit of vainglory, like you know, you, you desiring, you know, what I'm saying to be want to be seen, basically. You know, like, hey, I'm the man, you know, hey, did y'all see my sit down? You know, it was on point. Spirit was dealing. You know, that's that's off, man. We're supposed to be meek and humble in this thing, man. And he said, um, it's like it. let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. You know, some some brothers be doing that, like, man, maybe or they might be in a competition or or one brother might be in a competition with another brother. The other brother don't even know he's being in a competition. <laughs> he just trying to be like him or outdo him. You know, that's not what we're supposed to be about, man. We're supposed to be, you know, having the things of the spirit, man. As a matter of fact, we're supposed to be edifying one another. 
you know, uplifting one another, man, encouraging a brother, man, uplifting them, you know. That's what that's that's the main focus, man. And uh, knowing the difference between the, the uh the flesh, you know, and the spirit. And with that, we say shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the great and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth and sincerely. Shalom.